God, our God, the Supreme God, our Lord, has spoken. And he has summoned to the trial the whole earth, from the sunrise to the sunset, from the east to the west. From out of Zion, the completeness of perfection and beauty, our God shines forth. Our God comes, and he is not deaf, nor will he be silent. A consuming fire is before him, and round about him a storm rages. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth below. He calls them to be witnesses for the judging of his people. He calls, Gather to me my consecrated community, those who have made a covenant with me upon a sacrifice. And the heavens will declare the justness of the judgments. For our God himself, the keeper of covenants, is judge. Listen to me, my people. I am speaking. Listen to me, Israel. I am admonishing you. I, God, your God. Now, I am not rebuking you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings, which are continuously before me. But I have no need to receive a sacrificial bull from your house, nor sacrificial male goats from out of your enclosures. For all the animals of the woodlands and all the thousands of beasts on the countless hills are all mine. I know all the flying creatures of the mountains and all small moving things of pasture and field. If I were to be hungry, I would not mention it to you. For all the land of the created world and all the fullness thereof are mine. Do I eat the flesh? from the sacrificial bulls, or do I drink the blood from the sacrificial male goats? Sacrifice, thanksgiving, and praise to God, and make good on your vows to the Most High. And then call upon me in the day of your trouble and need, and I will rescue you, and you will honor me. But to the wicked, God says, What right have you to recite my prescriptions, my laws, or to take up my covenant with only your lips? And you hate training and discipline, and you cast my words behind you in disdain. If you see a thief, you become his friend, and you keep company with those who are committing adultery. You have let loose evil with your mouth, and your tongue harnesses fraud. You speak against and shame your brother. Against your mother's son you impute fault. You have done these things. And, as I have kept silent, you've compared me to yourselves. You've imagined that I am exactly like you. But now, I will rebuke you, and I will lay out the case right before your eyes. So make sure you understand this. You who are forgetting God, lest I tear you to pieces and there be none who can save you. 
he who sacrifices thanksgiving and praise is he who honors me. And to he who takes this correct path, I will cause him to see the joy found in the faithful help of Sovereign God.